Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Malachi, now at chapter 3. Let's look at verse 2. That's what we're looking at today. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like launderer's soap. So this is talking about the Messiah. This is talking about his messenger that prepares the way, and then the Lord who comes to his temple. This is talking about a group of people, an end-time group, who faithfully live and give God's message of warning and surrender to Jesus, return to Jesus. There's a group that gives what we could call an Elijah message. Then Jesus comes, literally, physically, visibly, audibly, and all that, right? It's it's an actual, literal second coming of Jesus, and we need to be right in our hearts when that day comes. What will be the outcome when when Jesus came to his temple before in in the first coming and he found the money changers and what was the outcome when Jesus came the first time and he found these these creepy people in the temple selling doves and and sacrifices and making money off the gospel and and, uh, their heart really wasn't in it. What was the outcome of that? Well, that did not come out too well for them, did it? And the Lord is coming back to planet earth to take us, his children, and take us home to him. He's going back to the sanctuary in heaven where there are things that he wants to do to set us right, to get us clear of sin, to take away our guilt and give us his righteousness. And that's involved with his high priestly ministry. So here we see this amazing statement here, who can endure the day of his coming? Some people want it to be like, oh, don't worry. When Jesus comes, everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. Some people want it to be that when Jesus comes, there's no special preparation. There's nothing different about the people who live at the end of time compared to the people who live at the beginning of time. Everything's just friendly. Everything's just whatever's considered correct. Everything is just fine. Whatever is in the culture is just fine. Don't worry about it. Just just relax. Jesus is coming. Let's all just take a holiday and then we'll, we'll ride in on the magic carpet. That's not the message that Malachi has. Who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? We need to be surrendered to him. We want to be our hearts to be given to him. We want to be more like Jesus. We want to have the Holy Spirit leading every step of our life so that we're doing good and and bringing good into this, this world of tragedy and hopelessness. So here's a message and a work for you and I. He is like a refiner's fire. He is like laundry. So boy, there's a lot of scrubbing and cleansing there. Uh, I remember as a child, you know, we, uh, I was in the bathtub and my, my mom would say, oh, you need to clean behind your ears. And she would just scrub with that washcloth really hard. I thought my whole ear was going to come off, but I guess I must've had a lot of dirt back there behind my ears. There's a lot of scrubbing. There's a lot of cleansing that that regenerating, changing, transforming that needs to happen. And so that's why we're told and we're given this picture of refiner's fire, launderer's soap. This is a picture of a lot of movement to get into a clean situation. So when I think about my heart, I know that God's going to have to do a lot to get it into a clean situation. So you and I, we need to surrender to him. We need to let him work. We need to let, this is one physician, we need to follow all of his instructions. He's a physician of the soul, and he will help us be ready for this coming that is talked about in this chapter. Remarkable section. You and I need to be the priests, the priesthood of believers. We need to be there for the Lord. He has got a purpose for us now. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, this message is not a soft, squishy message. This is a message to take a deep breath, get onto our knees, and come up to the line. So, Lord, please be with us in in regard to this. Show us the way forward. Use us. Help us to actively work in your service and be actively changed in that. Help us to ask so that we can give and draw people and hearts closer to Jesus. This is our prayer this morning, and we ask for these things. Lord, only because of Jesus can we ask, and we do ask, and we do it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, God be with you today in all that you're doing, and let's let God do some of that scrubbing. We want to be ready for Jesus. He's coming soon.